Yo, 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 it's your boy Ron Busy. Today, I'm gonna show you three ways on how to use your digital SLR or point and shoot camera as your webcam. Let's go. So there are three ways that you can do this. First way is that Canon, Panasonic, and Olympus have released software so that you can directly just plug your camera into your computer and use your camera as a webcam. That is the easy way. For this example, I've only got an Olympus camera that I can show you how to use the software, but I will have the links down below on where you can get the Canon and the Panasonic webcam software download. The second way is if you don't have a compatible camera that can use the software for as a webcam, then you can buy yourself a HDMI video capture card. This one I got off Amazon, I'll have the link down below, for about 40 Australian dollars or 20 US dollars. And as long as your camera has a HDMI out, you can get the video off your camera and be able to use it as a webcam. Okay, another free method is if you have a Sony camera, you can download the Sony Image Desktop app for your PC or your Mac, and then we can use OBS plus a plugin to use your camera as a webcam. To use your Olympus camera as a webcam, you're going to want to download the Olympus OMD webcam beta software. You also need to have one of the compatible cameras. It's listed on their website, which I'll have linked down below. If you don't have one of those Olympus cameras, this will not work for you. First thing you're going to want to do is download the software. So you can click through here, go down here and get the 64-bit or the 32-bit version of the software. So I've got 64-bit, so I'll download that. I've already got this installed, but for the sake of this video, I'll just run through what it's what happens. So we'll open this, click yes, let it run through, hit OK. Your OMD webcam beta has already been installed, the latest version. There is no need for you to update it. Okay, well, that's because I've already installed it, but it's a really quick process. And then once you have your software installed, you're going to want to plug the cable into your camera. So for me, I've got the proprietary cable, but for the newer Olympus cameras, it should have the USB-C. You plug that into your camera and then simply plug your camera into your computer. Once you turn on your camera, you should be prompted with this menu. Hopefully you can see that. You're going to want to select the third option, which, which is the computer and the camera. And once you do, you'll be able to use your camera as a webcam. Okay, so what we'll do next, I'll open up Zoom and show you that this is working. I'm gonna start a new meeting and this should automatically, there you go, that's me. So if it doesn't automatically pop up for you, what you're gonna to wanna to do is select OMD webcam beta. Um, okay, so I hear you. You're probably thinking, I don't have a compatible camera. What can I do next? If you don't have a compatible camera, you can use a HDMI video capture card. This was only about $40. And then with it, for my camera specifically, I'm gonna need, have, need a micro HDMI cable. Okay, so I've got the micro USB plugged in, which is this top one here, to provide power into the camera so it doesn't die when I'm using the camera as a webcam. Then I've got the micro HDMI plugged into the HDMI video capture card, which is then plugged into the USB port. I'm using a USB extender just to make things a little bit more easy. Let's open up Zoom again and let's select USB camera. So that's what it should always come up as when you're using the HDMI video capture device that I've, that I've currently got. Um, so select USB video and you should see me after I click that. And perfect, there you go. So now that is my video camera, my Sony RX100 working as a webcam. Awesome, let's go. So what happens if you don't have a camera with HDMI out or software such as the, the Panasonic or the Olympus or Canon software that I was talking about? Well, you're in luck, there's another option. All right, for the Sony RX100 specifically and for any other camera where you can connect your camera to your computer for tethered shooting, you can use that as a webcam. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Specifically for the Sony RX100 or Sony cameras, you've got the Imaging Edge desktop app for your computer. I'll have this link down below. You're going to wanna to go to the Imaging Edge desktop webpage. You're gonna to wanna to download it for your Windows or your Mac. I specifically tried this on Windows. I'm not sure if it works on the Mac. So download that. 
I've already had this installed on my machine but just open it up and click through and install as you would normally Once the software is installed, you're going to want to plug your RX100 into your computer. So it's a micro USB cable for my model. Turn your camera on. All right. You're going to want to switch USB mode. Once your camera is connected to your computer, you're going to want to change a few settings. First one being is that I change USB connection to mass storage. And I also turn HDMI settings, HDMI info display to off. Now you do this so that you can have a clean HDMI. If you don't, this is what it will look like. You'll see all the information. Now once I turn that off, all that information should be gone. Perfect. Another option you want to change is USB power supply. So you want to have that turned to on. Let's open up the Imaging Edge desktop app. So your computer, so your camera is plugged in through micro USB. It's on PC remote. Now all we do is click start here. So it shows right here that that's the camera, the RX100 Mark IV. Just double click the device. And that's me again. Now you've got the camera here, but there's one more step that you need to do using OBS and I'm going to talk you through that right now. Let's go. If you don't already have OBS installed, I'll have a video link to that up above so you know what I'm talking about and what to do. Okay, your camera is working in the Imaging Edge desktop app now. What you want to do is go get this OBS virtual cam. So I'll have this link down below for you. Go over here to go to download. Now you're just going to want to install that as normal. Mine's already installed so I'm not going to go through this process. OBS is open now. So what we're going to want to do is hit on the plus button to add a source we're going to do a display capture we'll call this sony imaging okay click ok we're capturing my left display at the moment which has both obs and the camera turned on what you're going to want to do is click on sony imaging down here at sources hold alt and we're just gonna cut this out cool. right click transform fit to screen perfect so we've got our image on our left now of the camera we go to tools virtual cam and we're gonna hit start now if I open up zoom Click on new meeting and there you have it we've got the camera on the right hand side being captured and if it wasn't selected already you're going to want to hit obs camera and that's how you do it for free let's go if you haven't already subscribe to my channel hit that like button and don't forget to follow me on twitch at twitch.tv forward slash run busy i appreciate you catch you on the next one